Hey Flock, Mike here from Epic Duck Studios and welcome to Hobby Heroics. This short form series focuses on things you can do to improve your hobby game with minimal effort. In this episode, I'll be showing you the quick recipe I use to paint multiple sets of Warcry terrain without losing my mind. First, I started with Army Painter Leather Brown Primer. You could also start with a base coat of Citadel Mornfang Brown or a similar color. Next, I dry brushed everything using an Elf Cosmetics Blending Eye Brush. This is one of my favorite dry brushes and they're only a few bucks each. I decided to use Citadel Althuin Grey here, but almost any light grey, bone, or off-white would be fine. It looks pretty separated, let's shake that up. After giving the paint a good shake, I touch the dry brush to the cap of the paint pot and begin unloading the brush on a piece of cardboard. Cardboard is very desiccant and textured and quickly sucks the moisture out of the brush. Before I hit the model, I usually test my dry brush on the back of my thumb to make sure it's not overloaded. Once I'm happy with it, it's time to go to town. This simple ladder only has two details, rope and bamboo, and both can benefit from being lightened. With this first pass of dry brushing, I'm moving across the details at about a 45 degree angle. Next, I'm dry brushing lengthwise along the ladder, perpendicular to the rungs. By changing the angle I approach this piece at, I'm catching different details. I'm also dry brushing along the broken bamboo edges at the end of each ladder rung. Once all the dry brushing is done, it's time to coat it all with a military green contrast paint. It'll need to hit the vortex mixer as well. Military green is a fairly strong tone and I want to knock it back a bit. Usually I'd thin it down with contrast medium, but I didn't have any on hand, so I'll be using Merlin's Magic Medium by Cuttlefish instead. I added roughly even amounts of both to my very fancy silicone palette and stirred it up. I slathered the thinned down military green on the entire ladder, including the ropes. I put it on thin enough that it doesn't really puddle up anywhere though. If it does, you can usually siphon up the puddle with your brush. The brush I'm using here is a Game Envy Artist Arsenal Size 3. I'm ignoring the end of the ladder for now, just so I have something to hold on to. Once this coat dries, it's time to finish that end as well. This thinned down military green most strongly tints the light gray areas while letting some of the warm brown show through in the deeper details. With all the bamboo done, it's time to paint those ropes. I'll be using Black Templar contrast paint, but this time I'm not thinning it down. After transferring some Black Templar to my very fancy silicone palette, I start covering all the ropes in a single coat of the contrast paint. With the way the ropes wrap around the ladder in multiple directions, it's easier to paint them on one side in one direction at a time. Right now I'm painting all the ropes that run parallel to the rungs. This means I'm repeating the exact same brush stroke each time, which helps speed things along. Once all the horizontal ropes are done, it's time for the verticals. You can see that a simple back and forth motion, two brush strokes, delivers enough paint to tint each rope. It's easy to treat a simple object like this ladder as if it's almost flat and just has two sides, but you'll want to look at it from above, below, and each side to make sure you didn't miss any points where the rope twists around the ladder. A quick little tap of the brush loaded with Black Templar usually takes care of it. Alright, these Warcry ladders are done with just a few minutes of work on each. The green over grey over brown approach really gives the bamboo some rich, realistic tones with very little effort. Now you should be able to paint your own Warcry terrain without losing your mind too. Thanks for watching, and until next time, do something epic.